In this video, I'm going to talk about the update of the top five best team in Plano Online. If you're trying to win games, those are the teams I'm about to show y'all. And let me know in the comment section who's missing on the list. And y'all give me y'all top five best team to use in this game. It go crazy with the like button. Number five, I have to go with the Celtics because JC10 went from a 90 to a 94 overall. And Jalen Brown went from 87 to a 91 overall so that's great especially if you want to use if you need defense or offense make sure you play with this team because they don't get you what you want and not only that jason Tim is much improved they, up, they upgrade his badges on offense and defense the same thing with Jalen brown these guys right here is is so good is that i'm gonna give you an example if say our opponent decided to off ball you you can put al hoffer at the five and you you'll do just fine because al hoffer jump shot is money if they change the jump shot to worse to better. So that means that you can easily green it, his shot from the three-point line. Also, Robert Williams is a guy that had all goal in defense, like pogo stick, anchor, he got post lockdown, and much more. But this ain't fun team to use, and if you struggling, trying to win games, this is the go-to teams to use because it will make you a much better player. So make sure y'all use this team wisely and you won't be disappointed. And another thing I forgot to tell y'all is that this team have no weakness at all. Number four, you got to go with the 76ers because this team is, is very deadly. Like, I'm going to give y'all an example. James Harden, he went from an 89 to a 91 overall. He may not move the same, but he still got it. He's still consistent. He still got the three ball, goal limit his range, so he's fine. And Joel B, he, he went from a 95 to a 97 overall. He playing like he's the best big man in the NBA. He averaging 34 points per game. Nobody's stopping him. And knowing that, his offense is unique. He got a three ball. He could post up. He could do a hook shot, a fade, and he could shoot a three ball. So if you need a defensive stop, Joel B is right there. Cause he got a lot of gold defensive badges like anchor, post lockdown, he got a brick wall, and cetera. And not only that, this team got all shooters around. And you could do a five out if this guy decides to off bolt against you. So be careful with that. So use that team. Number three, you gotta go with the Lakers because this team, ever since the trade deadline, this team is very improved compared to where the game first came out because they got Russell Westbrook at the time and, and a lot of these guys cannot shoot around so they were struggling to get buckets. But now, they got some new players. You got D'Angelo Russell, you got Malik Beasley, you got Mobama, and you got Vanderbilt. So these guys is, is going to bring it to the LA team. I mean, LA Lakers. So you still got LeBron James and Andy Davis doing their thing and LeBron James in a 98 overall this time around even though he hurt but when he be back it will be crazy everybody like to rent one with lebron james it'll be really hard to stop when you need like a lockdown defender or somebody as tall like Giannis or draw and b to stop that nonsense and the andrew russell he used to be he used to be in the lakers but now he much better than he was before he could shoot he could dribble i wish they gave him quick first step but it doesn't matter but and andy davis he's the type of guy who could get you stops he can play defense, he can shoot a three ball if you're not a time it. He, like he can catch Addy Hoops. Like Andy Davis is an all around better player than everybody in, in 2K. So this team is a fun team to use, so you won't be disappointed. Number two is the Phoenix Suns. Who ever thought that the Phoenix Suns would be the top five team in the, in the game today? And this is crazy because they got Kevin Durant, they got DeAndre Aiden, you got Chris Paul still doing his thing. He could defend any point guard out there in the 2k game not tall point guards but guys like his height he can still defend steal the ball anything anything he wants and you got Devin Booker still going crazy with the step back he got a three ball he got handled down he could shoot in, in, in consistent basing and they, now you got Kevin Durant this this team is OP man on offense even though they lack in defense but the offense is on point they got too much firepower man I don't know who can stop that team man the only team they could really slow that down is the Bucks and Lakers, maybe. Or maybe 76ers. I don't know. But this team right here, if you know how to play, they're gonna hard, they gotta have a hard time stopping you, man. Because this team had no weakness on offense. You could do what you want to do. Defense, it could it could get exposed a little bit. But when you use this team, when you play against this team, it's too much, man. I'm telling you this right now. Some people might disagree, but the Bucks are still number one because you got Giannis, the glitch, the demon guard still. And this team is OP. And do I need to explain this? 